Hello friends, welcome back. Let's look at this example related to finding the equation of the circle. We have been given that the center of the circle is at minus 1 comma 2 and the circle also passes through a point 5 comma 6. So let me say this is 5 comma 6 and the center is at minus 1 comma 2. We have to find out the equation of the circle. Now we know the standard form of the equation of the circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. So let me write it down. x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square where h comma k is the point with coordinates h comma k is the center of the circle and that's what we know. Now let's try to see what we can do with respect to this example. Now x minus h is minus 1 so I'll have x minus of minus 1 whole square plus y minus k is 2 so I can say k y minus 2 whole square equal to r square. Can I write it as x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to r square. So we are okay on the left hand side because we know h and k but we have to find out the radius. We haven't been directly given the radius but we have been told that the circle is passing through a point 5 comma 6. You know that the distance from the center of the circle to any point any point on the circle is nothing but equal to radius of the circle. So if you are able to find out the distance between these two points that should be equal to radius. So let us write it down here. We will use the formula if x1 comma y1 x2 y2 are two points then the distance between them is given by square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square or can we say d square equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. We will apply that formula here and we will write down x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to r square is nothing but x2 minus x1 whole square. So let me write it as 5 minus of minus 1 whole square plus 6 minus 2 whole square. If we simplify that, this is equal to x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to 5 minus of minus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1. So I can write it as 6 square plus 4 square. So which is nothing but equal to x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to 52. So you can leave it here or you can also simplify it and you can write it as x square plus y square plus 2x minus 4y. We have 1 and 4, 5 here. So we will get 52 to the left side. We will have minus 52. So that will be minus 47 equal to 0. I skipped a couple of steps but you should be fine with that by now. x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square minus 4y plus 4 equal to 52. So x square plus y square plus 2x minus 4y plus 5 minus 52. That is x square plus y square plus 2x minus 4y minus 47 equal to 0. Let me repeat how we have done this problem. Till now we have been given directly what is h and what is k and we have been given values of h, k and also r. So we are directly substituting in the formula x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. 
In this example, we haven't been given directly the radius, but we have been told that the circle center is given and it passes through a point 5 comma 6. Now, by the definition of radius, we know that radius is the constant distance between center and any point on the circle. So, the distance between them can be found out by using the distance between two points formula and applying that formula, we are able to obtain the equation of the circle. Let us do one more example. Let us look at this example. This example is almost similar to the previous example, but only little bit different. So, let us see what is the difference. Find the equation of the circle passing through the point of intersection of two lines and whose center is the point of intersection of two lines. Now, you can see that the first examples we have done is where we have been given directly the coordinates of h comma k and we have been told what is the radius. Now, and the next example we have seen just now, 5 minutes before, is the equation of the circle where the problem is passing through a point and the center is directly given to us. Now, they are asking us to find out the point, the coordinates of center and also the point through which it is passing by solving the equations. So, we are clubbing linear equations in two variables with the circle. So, let us go ahead and try to solve this problem. First, we have to find out, find the equation of circle passing through the point of intersection of these two points. So, I know just now that if I know the point, I know the center, the distance between them is radius by which I can find out r. And center is point of intersection of two lines. So, if I solve these two lines, I should get h and k. So, directly I can substitute them. First, let me ta let me see to find out the point of intersection of these two lines and see what is the point which is passing through, the circle is passing through. For that, let me try to solve the equations. One is x minus 2y equal to 0 and the other equation is 2x plus 4y equal to 0. Now, you can see that there are no numbers there. That means we do not have x minus 2y equal to 2 or 2x plus 4y equal to 6. So, whenever you see like this of the form of y equal to mx, you know that it is passing through 0 comma 0. So, the point of intersection of you can check that by solving and substituting elimination whatever it is. You can check that the point of intersection of these two is nothing but 0 comma 0. So, the circle is passing through 0 comma 0 and also we know that the center is point of intersection of lines. There are two more lines. Those point of intersection, lines point of intersection is nothing but our h comma k. So, let us try to find out that too. One line is x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. So, can I say x plus y plus 1 equal to 0 and another line is x minus 2y plus 4 equal to 0. Now, you can use any of the method whatever is comfortable to you. We can solve any method. I will just go for elimination x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. Now, I see x coefficients are same. So, I will subtract them. I will have minus minus. So, I will have minus 3y plus 3 equal to 0 or y equal to 1. If y equal to 1, that gives me, if y equal to 1, that gives me x plus 1 plus 1 equal to 0 or x equal to minus 2. That means, the coordinates of the center are minus 2 comma 1. Now, it is like the earlier example because we know now the center and also we know the radius. This is a pretty easy problem now to solve it. Let me just repeat that. We have been told that the circle is passing through point of intersection of two lines. We found the point of intersection to be horizon. horizon. And whose center is the point of intersection of two lines again? So, we have solved that by elimination and we found that the point of intersection of these two lines is minus 2 comma 1. Let us check that. Minus 2 comma 1. Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. Minus, okay, we have to do here. 
minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 0 and also minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2 plus 2 minus 2 is 0 so it's a satisfying both of them now we know the equation we can directly go to the equation the equation is x minus of minus 2 so you can directly write it as x plus 2 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equal to the distance between the two points center and any point on the circle that's equal to 2 square plus 1 square so that will give you the equation of the circle as x square plus y square plus 4x minus 2y equal to 0 we will have 0 because 2 square plus 1 square on both the sides will cancel and you will have x square plus y square plus 4x minus 2y equal to 0 in the next session we will look into some more interesting examples related to circles and after that we will go through what is the general equation form of the circle and we will do some more example so thanks for your time bye for now